Hello everyone. I'm back with something a little bit different. So today I'm going to be doing a cutting board for a change instead of something out of a mold. So I just wanted to show you how I prepped it. This is just now drying and I used some liquid latex. This way uh, when it drips over this edge I will be able to pour, not pour, I will be able to pull this off without any drips sticking to this. Now, this is the first time I'm using a black board. I usually always do the wood ones. So I'm a little nervous about the black. I don't know how this is going to come off. Sometimes when you tape onto a wood board, it discolors the wood and you can just sand it down and re-oil it. I don't have the option on this one. So this is going to be a first for me. Um, but I think if it comes out good, it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to be using um, whites, silvers, and blacks. So I have this pearly mica powder. I will link everything below. I'm going to be trying for the first time a metallic alcohol ink and silver. I'm going to be using the cast and craft in black. Of course, you all know I put sparkle in almost everything I do. It's in my name. I have to live up to my name. That's all. So I'm going to use this kind of glitter and I'm going to be using some broken mirror. So I'm going to mix up some resin. All right. I'm a little nervous on this one. I'm always intimidated by boards because I don't want to ruin them and I paid good money for it. So I'm just going to wipe off all this glitter that I got on here and start a pattern. Now I don't have any pattern in mind at all. I'm just going to do a random pattern. I just know that I want these colors on here and we're going to see how this ends up. So I am going to speed this up for you because it took me about 20 minutes and I know you don't want to sit here for 20 minutes watching me figure out my pattern. So here it goes. I will be back at the end.
in my room and it's time to get this liquid latex off. So it's just going to peel it off and I see that it's not going to do any harm to this black board. So that's good and it just peels right off. If you have to use your little craft knife so you don't rip that off. You don't want to rip the actual resin from the edge, which I'm going to grab my knife in just a second. So I don't do that. Cause you don't want to loosen this edge that we, I made sure to get the resin on the edge just to be a finished side. So I don't want to ruin that. So let me grab my knife. So I'm just going to cut these pieces off. Now I am excited. I love the finished product, but I am crushed that I made one stupid mistake. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And I do not have a solution for that mistake before this video is over, but I will show you what I did. I don't know if I'm ever going to buy another black one, even though I love the result of it. You can't make one mistake. Because again, I don't know how to fix the solution. If you have a solution for me, I will gladly take it into consideration. Because like I said, I don't have a solution and I'm finishing this video up today. So I do... do love all your guys's input let me just get this off and i will fast forward this and then i'll show you what i did So I think this came out beautiful. I think it's just gorgeous. It's stunning. It's definitely an eye catcher. This is sharp though. So you might want to go over it with more resin. If I sell it, I will. Um, again, like my other videos, this I will go let go for cost if anybody wants it. If anybody does want it, I will finish it out. I will cover this. Um, but until I get it sold, I'm not going to because it's just a demo piece. But as you can see, what I did to the black. If you saw in the video, I dropped one of these glass pieces that was already coated in resin onto the board. And I quickly wiped it back up here. I grabbed a paper towel as fast as I could with alcohol and I wiped it off. And now I have these white marks. So... Um, I'm not sure how to fix this. I tried washing it with more alcohol. I tried washing it with soap and water. Can you see that? Oh, it breaks my heart. So my husband's, um, suggestion was cover it with black resin, which means unless you use a food resin, this would just be for display only. I could paint it. I could spray paint it with a high gloss black or even satin black to match the board. But again, it would just be to look at. So if you have any suggestions on how I can fix this, I would be more than happy to take them. But anyway, let's, let's look at this part. <laughs> how do you like that part? I love that part. I absolutely love it. It's great for black, white, and silver lovers. It's great for the modern folk who like the modern stuff. Um, yeah, let me know. I had fun on this one. This is the first time I've done a cutting board that was not a beach scene. So generally I always do the beach scene with the waves and I was tired of that one. So I wanted to do this. 
So thank you guys all for coming in. Um, please subscribe if you have not done so yet. I would appreciate it. I'm so glad that all of you come in to watch videos. Please leave me a comment. I will answer you. Um, I will answer any questions if I can answer questions. Um, here's the edge. And again, I will put my email in the description along with everything that I used. If you are interested in purchasing this at cost, I'll be happy to do that. So I will see you guys on the next video, which will be coming out very shortly. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.